Hey guys and welcome back. It's Emily from Handmade with Love. I hope that you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are. In today's video, I'm really excited because I finally got my sweet story order from A Cherry on Top. Um, if you guys have been, you know, keeping up with Crate Paper and Maggie Holmes, then you know that this collection released in January, but there's been a lot of back orders and things like that just because of the virus. So I am just now receiving this and I pre-ordered this, I think in February. So it has been a very, very long time, but, um, a cherry on top was great at keeping me updated with the things that they were waiting to receive and everything that was going on. I also ordered Magical Force at the same time and they were nice enough to send me everything from that collection even though I didn't pay extra for the shipping or anything. So they were just really nice about everything and I always recommend shopping with them. But um, yeah, I thought I would go ahead and open everything on camera so that you guys can see too and figure out what you want to get from, the, from this collection. I believe that I purchased everything except for the... Um, the specialty embellishments which um, they're different for every collection but I think they were like little sparkly butterflies and um, some bows I think I want to say not 100% sure but um, I would just prefer to make those myself and not pay the extra money for them but I did want to show you the basis of this collection so I got the ephemera I got two packs and this is what it looks like it's everything that comes in it and if you guys have watched my haul videos before, you know that at the end of my videos, I always take everything out and show you everything that's in the ephemera kind of sped up. So if you want to fast forward to that to see everything in here, please feel free to do so. Or you can hang out and wait until the end of the video to see what's inside of here. I also purchased the clear accent stickers. I have been having a lot of fun with these and different collections that I've been using them with. Um, I have them for the Sunny Days collection and I think that's whenever I first started playing with them and realizing how much I enjoy using them. So I definitely bought them for the Magical Forest and like them just as much. So I'm really glad that I got them for this collection too. So I'll just show you what all is in here. There's a lot of the repeated icons. There are some labels here. And these are actually nice. These are not, um, these aren't clear stickers like a lot of the other ones are. These actually are just kind of like regular cardstock stickers, maybe just a little bit thinner. So you can actually write on them. Um, the top, the top ones are definitely clear though. These ones are clear as well. There's some more smaller icons here. I really love the rainbow and floral pieces in this collection. They're just so gorgeous. I love the colors and all of the little bugs. I'm just so excited looking at this. I feel so inspired to start making stuff. These ones are clear too. And then there's some frames, some more labels. And then the last one, these are paper. These are not clear. Um, these are just a bunch of some word and um, phrases. So those are always really fun to have. And I feel like I would much rather purchase them in a set like this rather than get them on these sticker sheets because I know sometimes it will fill up like half of the sticker sheet and it's kind of obnoxious. But um, yeah, so I'm excited to start playing with some more of these um, and using them on different projects. The next thing that I got were the puffy stickers for this collection or thickers. I'm not sure if they had any like regular letters. I didn't look into that. I'm sure they probably do, but... I have so many in my collection already, I'd rather just use what I have that matches. But these are the puffy stickers and they're really, really cute. Lots and lots of animals as you guys can see. And there are a few little sentiments. I feel like they could have maybe included a few more smaller things here and there because I feel like a lot of this is empty, but you know, it might have cost them a little bit more to um, make it this way, so. I'm fine with everything on here, it looks really cute. So I did pick up three of the 6x12 sticker sheets. Uh, if you guys know me, you'll know that I love using stickers. These are my favorite part of collections, this and chipboard. So I do normally pick up three to five sets just depending on how much I like the collection. And they're usually the cheapest part of a collection as well. It's usually only two to four dollars maybe for stickers, so I don't mind buying extras. And then of course it's always nice to have some two Santa pen pals. This is what the front looks like. Sorry if there's a little bit of a glare. And then this is the back. I love the lettering that they chose for this collection. It's very bold. 
and very pretty. This roller skate is so cute, I love it. So there aren't too many sentiments on here. There are some labels, so it would look nice even if I layered some of the sentiments from the clear sticker sheet on top of these labels. But I really like that they kept everything kind of separate this time. So I'm excited to use these stickers. So I did not realize that I purchased the puffy stickers, but I'm so glad that I did because I've seen so many people playing with these and they are so fun. And there are so, so many different elements on here, all different sizes. So I'm really glad that I picked up a set of these. Puffy stickers aren't usually my jam, but we will see what I can come up with and how I will use these. I'm sure that I will have some fun with them. Love the colors, again, it's so pretty. It's a lot more of a brighter white than most of her collections are. So now we have the chipboard here, and it's so, so pretty. I think I'm most excited about this chipboard because I feel like there's a lot more than there normally is. And lately I've been noticing that the size on chipboards, like the actual pieces are gigantic, um, but these ones seem to be a good range of sizes. So you have like smaller butterfly pieces and then you have like bigger tags and frames and stuff like that. So this will be fun to work with. Once again, I'm just so obsessed with the colors for these. I did pick up two chipboard. Like I said, I love, love, love using chipboard. I go through it so quickly. So I'm glad that I picked up two. And then lastly, I went ahead and splurged and got the 12 by 12 paper pad. Um, lately, whenever I've just been getting the 6x8, I find myself running out a lot, and it's a little bit harder to use whenever I'm doing bigger projects. So I just went ahead and picked up the 12x12 for this collection, and whenever I was looking, I really love a lot of the papers in here, so I know that I will be able to use all of these up and find a way to use um, to incorporate them. So I'm just going to peel this off and show you guys the papers. So I'm not normally very good at flip through, so hopefully you guys can see this okay. So I did purchase a few individual papers for this collection um, and they went ahead and sent it in my Magical Forest haul. So I'm going to link that video down below this one if you do want to see um, some of the individual papers that I got. They're also really pretty. And I was under the impression that these were going to be repeating designs, but it's actually 48 papers all on their own. There's no repeating designs in here. They're all different. Um, they're the same color scheme and there's a mix of bolder prints kind of like this with more muted prints that you could use for things like scrapbooking or um, bigger projects. And it's gonna be so fun to make some flip books and mini albums with this. I'm just so excited. So yeah, that's everything that I purchased from this collection. Um, like I said, if you wanna see all of the ephemera that is included in this collection, then stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.